I started working with Michael in 1999. I got a phone call from um, Carol Barry Sager, and uh, she asked me if I'd be interested in writing with her and Michael. I said absolutely, and uh, got on a plane from New Jersey, came to LA, and um, went to Carol's house. And um, that's where I met Michael, and then he said, uh, How would you like to produce? you know, work with me on my album. So I would love to. He said, you gotta commit yourself. And I was like, absolutely. And I worked with Michael for three years straight um, with him on the Invincible album. And um, the thing about it was, it wasn't like, you know, I be, we became friends. Like, you know, his family, my family. Um, he's been in my house. He's had dinner with my family. Um, Took him through Manhattan, Harlem, and in, in, in the drop top, Bentley, in the Jour. Took him all around Manhattan so he can see. I wanted him to see that you can ride around the streets and not have to have security all the time. One thing I remember is that he really, uh, he really loved music and he really had a passion for music and he really had a, he always he had a drive that was unbelievable. Because when you sell that some kind of records, sell that many kind of those many records, you really don't have to go in the studio no more. You really don't have to do it. So you have to have a passion and a love for it. You can keep the memory. One thing we know is he left us a lot of jewels. He left us a lot of great art throughout the years that we could always reflect on. Some of the best albums ever made, and best videos ever made, and best dance moves ever created. No matter how big you become to the world, no matter how many awards, Grammys, trophies, how many records you sell, you can't take that with you. At the end of the day, you have to have, you have to know Jesus and you have to have him in your life. You have to have the love of Christ. That's the only thing that supersedes everything else. The only thing that you can really stand on. I don't care about any false this and myths of this and all these different religions and all that. There's only one way to, to, to get to God, and that's through His Son, Jesus, and that's real. And, um, you know, I'm glad that in 2003, that me and Chris Tucker and my father had a chance to present um, Christ to Mike. And, um, and I remember that day, and, um, and that's what I'm here for. It ain't just about music. The hits will come. The music will come. But... At the end of the day, I got to do what God tells me to do. A lot of what I know now about music, I learned from working with him. And, you know, it breaks my heart because um, he was such an inspiration. And my love goes out to his family. My love goes out to his children. I'm blessed to say that I, that I had the chance to, to do Michael's last number one record, Rock My World. And um, I'm blessed to, to, to say that I... I know the greatest entertainer of all time. No.